Bonjour, my bells and bats. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheena Carroll. I'm an author and knitwear designer from the Pacific Northwest. And today we have very poor lighting because it is winter here in the Seattle area. And there's not much I can do about it, really. We're just going to have to deal with the fact that this half of my face is in shadow. So it is time for another self-publishing vlog. And I've done a couple of these in the past that were kind of abandoned halfway through because of my health issues. So we're going to try this again and see if I can actually get all the way through the process. So the book I'm working on right now is called Midnight Radio. It's a collection of interconnected short stories. It's kind of like Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys meets Call of Cthulhu. And it's about three neurodivergent teens in 1950s West Virginia who come together because they are the only people in this coal mining town who have even heard of a late night horror radio show called Midnight Radio. And once the three of them come together, they realize that the spooky stories they've been listening to every evening after their parents go to bed are actually starting to come true in their small town. So they decide to get to the bottom of the mystery and figure out what's going on and see if they can try to save their little town. So, so far, I have written everything. It was up on my Patreon for a while. I no longer have a Patreon for various reasons, but I do have a Ko-fi link down below if you would like to check that out. It would be really helpful. And this book is novella length. It's not super long. I think it's maybe 30 or 40,000 words. And I'm mostly reading through it right now just for continuity, making sure that everything lines up and making it, uh, the transitions a little less sharp. So when it was on Patreon, it was being released as a serial. So each one was a very self-contained episode. And now that it's being released in book form, I want to try and smooth out those transitions so it reads a little bit more like a novella or a novel. So I'm adding a little bit to it, just making sure that all of my backstories line up. If I reference something in episode seven that happened in episode three that I did so accurately, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm on my second to last revision. I'm doing a read through right now, marking anything I need to change. Then I need to make those changes and do a final read through. And then my last edit is going to be for formatting, copy editing, all of that. I do have the pre-order link set up already with a placeholder cover, which you might have seen on my Instagram or my blog. Um, that is linked down below if you would like to pre-order your copy for 99 cents. Um, the price will be going up about probably a month after the book releases. So if you want a discount, make sure to get it now. Um, I'm still waiting on the final cover. It is in progress, but I haven't received it yet, which is why we have the placeholder cover. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you about this. So today I'm just sitting down and working on that read through. I have a bunch of notes that I've made for myself. And on this particular read through, I decided to print out a copy because it's much easier for me to make notes and reference things if it's in a hard copy that I can flip through back and forth. So this is the notebook that I have it in. It's a happy planner. So this is a happy planner big cover and I have that so that I can put sticky notes and things in the pockets. I don't have anything in there right now really. And then the book itself is in just a disc bound notebook. It actually has a couple things in it that I needed to edit. One of them I can get rid of now. And <laughs> I printed this out kind of poorly. <laughs> so I my, have, my printer is one of those where it can't print double sided unless you take the printed page and then put it back in. And I'm really bad at figuring out which way the pages need to go back in in order to print on the back side. Um, I tend to get things like this, where it's just printed over itself. So 
So I printed it out and what I didn't realize was that because I had comments in the page on some of them, they printed out really small. And to save paper, I just printed two sheets per page. So it is a little bit difficult to read. In the future when I do this, I'm just gonna print one, one sheet per page and just deal with it and recycle the paper because this is not the way I like to work. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I've just been batch filming. So everything that was on my desk, I had to move. It is currently behind me. And I'm gonna clear off my bed get myself a nice drink and a snack and then we're gonna sit down and read through this make some notes with some colored pens um, with my post-it collection and go from there okay the hair has changed because like i said i've been batch filming today and also i was wearing a wig in the sunshine sitting ne right next to my heater while wearing a sweater and it got very warm even though it's like 18 degrees outside but we have the requisite soda, we have sour candy, we have Doritos, we have a grumpy kitty hogging the bed. He has recently discovered heating pads and is not willing to give them up for anything. And we have all of my various stationary supplies. So let me turn you around and want to do what's in my pencil case? We can do that. Okay, so I showed you the notebook, and then, oh, dang it, I keep doing that, it's upside down, I need to put a sticker or something on this side. So this is a packet of post-it notes that I got from like a CVS or a Walgreens or something ages ago. And as you can see, I like to color code things. This is actually my color coding list from my true crime podcast research. Um, you can check that out on Spotify. It's the ghost of highway 16. And I've also got a website for it that I will link down below. So these are the, um, the post-it notes I need or that I use. So if I need to make a note to myself that is a little bit larger, I'll put it on one of these two. And then I color code these by topic. And inside my notebook, this right here is my key. But because this is just editing a manuscript, it's pretty simple. I have blue for notes, and then I'm using hot pink for edit and delete. And this is the pencil case I use. I just got this off of Amazon. I like it because it has this zip out where you can put like your most used items right here and anything small, it's not gonna get in the way. Um, for a while I was also carrying an X-Acto knife that didn't have a cover in here. So I could put the knife in here and it wouldn't stab anything or me. But I haven't been using that lately. And this bag comes with me to the office. It's what I grab anytime I'm gonna use my journal or one of my notebooks, um, my planner, anything like that. Okay, so inside we have all of this. These are metallic kind of glittery pens. Where'd the other one go? There it is. These are Pentel Crazy Pop pens and I got these specifically for writing on black paper um, so they're duochrome so like this one is red and green this one's blue and yellow you get the idea and I use these a lot in uh, one of my planners sharpie because you always need a sharpie white gel pen for again writing on black paper and then I also have a white pastel pencil for the same reason, um, chalk pastel. And it has picked up some highlighter color on there accidentally. I had 
a highlighter where the lid came off and it just leaked all over everything. And I have a cat that's all over everything. Um, and I keep this in here for two reasons. One, I use it for writing on black paper. That's enough, you two. Number two, I use it for sewing and I like to know where it is at all times because when I had it in my sewing supplies, it kept wandering off. And I have two of my favorite mechanical pencils. These are, they're the Twist Erase. Yes, Pentel Twist Erase. I really love these. I've been using them since high school and you will pry them from my cold dead fingers. I also have another mechanical pencil. This one is uh, the Nostalgic Style that we used to have in the 90s. And I use this for when I need to use softer lines in a sketch or something like that. I also have an eraser. This is uh, my favorite pen for writing. And I've got a couple different versions of these. These are all blue ink. Well, this one's actually purple right now because I replaced the cartridge. These are Pentel Energels. These are my absolute favorite for handwriting. And I have the fancy metal barrel. And then I've also got the plastic ones that have the rubber grips on them. So these are more comfortable, but I just really like this one as well. Uh, scotch glue stick. This is the only brand of glue stick that I buy. Got a mini ruler. Highlighters because highlighters. Where did the rest of them go? I had a whole bunch. Oh, here's two more. I got a pack of these UBs and it's like 20 different colors and I just keep my most used ones in here. Of course, now I can't find them. Where did go. Uh, that's a question for later. Oh, to pull out. There we go. So I'm setting these two aside since they're the ones I'm using for editing. I have my little snips that I use for washi tape. More page flags and these are set up for the same uh, flag system that I have in here. Tweezers for dealing with small stickers and the like. More page flags. Yes, I did steal those from the office. Um, another gel pen for writing on black paper, although this one isn't the best at it. Um, I've noticed that the Cricut pens are just not really good for much. And the last thing that I keep in there are a couple of fountain pens. This one is a cross fountain pen, and it currently has a light blue ink in it. And then this one is a Jin Hao. And I could have sworn I put dark red ink in here, but when I just tested it a few minutes ago, it was dark blue. So whatever, it, it's one of my pens. I collect fountain pens and I rotate out which ones I keep in here. Okay, so fun fact, in going through my notebook and getting myself set up, I realized I had finished rereading that draft. So what I'm going to do is take the notes that I have in here and I'm going to transfer them into the laptop and then I'm going to reprint and work off of that copy. Um, I know I have some stuff that I want to add that I don't have notated in here because I thought of it after the fact, but I actually printed this copy several months ago and thought I'd gotten halfway through and then abandoned it because I had other things that were more urgent. Um, turns out I did actually finish doing that. Um, and I just haven't come back to it to finish the process. <laughs> so, um, Let's get this all entered into the computer.
Okay, so it is the next day. I double checked and I have 97 days to finish this and get it out. Actually, a little bit less than that because I have to upload it to Amazon and um, other outlets before the 22nd of April. Um, but that's the release date, so I have 97 days. I was able to get through all of the paper draft last night except for the last chapter, which I am working on right now. Um, and once I finish this, I'm going to go through and do another read through just on the computer, I think. Um, and then add in the final stuff that I want to add. Then I'm going to let it sit for a few days before I do the final read through and the final formatting. So let's get started. I did realize that this is a lot longer than I thought it was, which is totally fine. Um, it is just shy of 60,000 words right now. It's at 59,033. So that is totally fine with me. It means that I can price it as a novel length work instead of as a novella once I upload it. So yay. Um, and I'll probably end up adding just a little bit more to it as I'm going through this editing process because I am an underwriter. I always end up with a first draft that is significantly shorter than what the final product ends up being. So we're definitely going to be adding more to this. Probably not a lot more, but a little bit. Um, I have some ideas of stuff that I want to add, a uh, little like uh, Easter eggs that I want to sprinkle in, little clues, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. Still working on this first read through making the big corrections and then I can go back through and add in the extras. So let's get to work. Let's have a little bit of a chat. So it's been probably about a month since I last did a check-in check on this vlog. And that's for um, a couple of reasons, but they all kind of have one reason behind them, really. Um, so basically, I filmed the last clip and then almost immediately after um, discovered that I needed to change one of my meds. And it's not just a oh, go to the pharmacy and get the new med, it's a wean off of the old one and then build up your levels with the new one type of med. So I spent a couple weeks leveling down on the one. I'm now on the second week with the new medication, I'm doing a lot better. Um, the new one seems to be working out pretty well for me. Um, but along with that, there were things like mental health troubles, uh, difficulty in focusing on certain things, a little bit of brain fog was going on, and just generally not feeling well or at my best. And um, when my mental health is suffering, depressed me is prone to doing things like deleting entire manuscripts and then emptying the recycle bin because she feels very defeated. 
So in the interest of not deleting an entire manuscript that is supposed to come out in 76 days, I chose to take a month off from writing. I did still do writing adjacent things, which I will show you in a minute. But um, as far as like the actual editing and composition, I did not work on any of that for the last month. Um, I'm going to be getting back into it here, if not this afternoon, then probably tomorrow sometime. Um, but I needed to step away from that so I didn't do something I would regret later. What I have been working on um, is writing adjacent stuff. I've been listening to um, some of the books from my childhood that really inspired me. I've been listening to the American Girl series. Um, I found some of them on audio, some of them I found ebooks. Uh, currently my book stash is in deep storage and I can't really access it at the moment. So I'm going with audio and ebook for the time being. And then um, I've also been listening to The Heroine's Journey by Gail Carragher which honestly that should be required reading for all high school and or college composition English classes. Uh, it's really good. I've been taking a ton of notes on that. And then I also took notes on a couple of different uh, YouTube videos regarding marketing and book promotion and I have a couple more that I want to watch and take notes on. Um, and I will link to the stuff that I've been using down below. I've been working on that and just trying to audit my platform, look at everything that I have published, everything that I have done in the past that has not worked, and trying to figure out what I need to do to make this debut or this release better than my previous ones. So you did not know midnight radio comes out on april 22nd i have 76 days to do two final rounds of edits on it and get it uploaded into amazon it is available for pre-order right now for the special price of 99 cents that will go up i think probably the end of may but i haven't really decided yet so if you want to get a discount on the ebook go ahead and download it now or get the pre-order um, so actually let me, let me grab my notebook and we can flip through that a little bit. Okay. So I've got my planner over here and I think it's going to be easier if I just pull out the pages to show you instead of trying to flip you around it and do a flat lay because my desk is a little bit crowded right now. I'm working from home as well as having like, my author stuff out. So my desk is too small for that. So first of all, something that I need to do today is put together my Kanban board. This is an idea that I got from Sarah Cannon. So this goes into my planner and I've got the things that I want to accomplish in this blue section, the things that I'm working on right here. And then if it's complete, it goes on the back. If it's something that I've decided is no longer relevant or I'm not going to be doing, then I just put it at the bottom here. Um, so I need to update this. This is going to stay out here. And then what I've been doing is basically just a full audit on everything that I have. And this is coming from... Um, the videos that I mentioned earlier. So what I did is I sat down and I looked at all of the ways that I have of connecting with readers. So my website, my mailing list, my Amazon page, what social media platforms I'm using, um, all of that. And I've made a list for each one. So I have some just like general things that I need to do here, like updating my bookkeeping, doing my taxes, that kind of thing. And then I also went through for each thing and I've got things that I want to change on each of those platforms. So things that I want to update on my website, I want to do a little bit of new branding, change up the color scheme a little bit, um, get some more cohesive banners in place. 
uh, update some of the links, that kind of thing. And then I've also got on my social media, I need to get more graphics that I can use there, both promotional graphics and things like headers and that type of thing. And then I also need to find a better way of scheduling because I've been using later to schedule my social posts and it's just, it's not working for me. I need something that is free, but later will not let you schedule reels and you can only schedule up to a week in advance. And sometimes I have things that I want to schedule a couple weeks in advance just so I don't forget about them, like release day stuff. So I need to look at other options for that. There's some changes I wanna to make to my newsletter, like creating new landing pages for it. I also need to figure out how to do free downloads. I had something for that and I don't think it's working. So I need to double check and see what my other options are. And then just some other things, like I need to update my book formats. Um, the Spider's Web was my first book. It came out in 2016. And so all of the links and the back matter in that are all related to what I had going on in 2016. So they need to be updated since they're eight years out of date. So, um, going through that. And then I also wrote out a list of long-term writing goals. So what do I want to achieve hopefully in the next year, but preferably in the next five years. And it's things like being able to do a hardback and audio release of the Evie Capelli series. So the Spider's Web, Moreau House, and the Ferryman. Um, I want to be able to, I need to find some kind of a business mentor because I am not doing well at this on my own. I recognize that, but there's certain things where I feel like I need somebody to hold my hand and I haven't found anybody who's willing and able to do that. And I don't know how to find someone who's willing and able to do that. Um, I've got a couple of courses that I want to take and just some general like publishing changes that I want to make. I would really like to transition, especially all of my Sheen Apparel books onto Ingram Spark and get wider distribution. Um, but that costs money and money is not something I have had a lot of. Um, the other thing that I did is I just made a list of all of the digital assets that I need to make or find or pay for and all the different things relating to marketing and advertising that I want to get done. And I will link to the video where I got this from. And I'm doing all of this stuff commonplace style. Um, if you don't know what a commonplace notebook is, I used to call this an everything notebook and it just had my whole life and it. it had my planner, it had any notes that I wanted to take, it was a journal, um, all of that was in one book together and it would just be like a spiral bound notebook. But a commonplace notebook, it's kind of like that but it's a little bit better organized. So I have a symbol or a code at the top that shows what category this is. This is B for business. And then I list the, what the source was, where I found the source. So uh, this particular snippet is from a video called Strategies for Marketing Your First Book. I found it on YouTube and the account was New York Book Editors or NY Book Editors. So I list all of that here. That way, if there's something I'm unclear about later, I can go back to that source and find it again. So that is what I've been working on in my writing adjacent time. Uh, the other thing is just that because the brain chemicals have been out of whack, I've been really hyper-focusing. That's why there was so much knitting in my last podcast episode, just because I've been in a real hyper-focus mode where all my brain wants to do is watch a specific TV show and knit. That's all it wants to do. So I'm finally starting to get back into the area now where I can concentrate on other things and be a little bit more creative and um, 
just do more of the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. So this is what I've been working on recently. I'm currently working from home. So while I've got some downtime, I'm going to work on my Kanban board. And then when I go to lunch, I will work on doing some editing. I would like to fully edit three short stories today. Um, my first, the first three stories in the book or the first three chapters, once it's in novel format, um, I think those are pretty clean, but I need to tie them. I need to add foreshadowing for some things that are going to happen later on. So, um, let's get started on this. I have a ridiculously long to-do list right now. Um, and we'll get to work. Okay, so it is a couple of days later. We are at T minus 74 days until release. I went ahead and updated all of my uh, deadlines that I have coming up. And then I filled out my Kanban, which is a little bit overfilled right now. Um, I might have to go back and redo this at some point because these flags right here are very old they're not terribly sticky and they keep falling off i was hoping that having them shut up inside the book would give them a chance to like flatten out and stick a little bit better but that's not really working so all the blue flags are chapters that are yet to be edited i've already done chapter one and two i didn't get to three the other night my afternoon kind of went sideways on me so I'm hoping to work on that today. Um, I, I know that three chapters is maybe pushing it for a single day of work, um, but I'm hoping that I can get up to chapter five today. I at least want to get through four. Four is my uh, good, better goal. Chapter five is my best goal. So that is what I'm working on right now. Um, the other thing that I'm doing that is writing adjacent is I'm actually going through and rereading my first novel, The Spider's Web. So this came out in 2016 and this is my author copy. This is the one that I would take with me to events and read from. And I've actually got like all sorts of notes and markup in here um just like notes to myself and also things where like i found a typo or something so um one thing that i want to work on this year is not doing like a full re-release of this but all of the back matter needs updated so like I have way more books out now that I can add in here. Um, some of my socials need updated. So like I don't even use Goodreads anymore. Um, I deleted my Facebook because Facebook just doesn't work for me. So um, I'm barely on Tumblr, but I don't have my Instagram in here. So I'm going to go through and update those and while I'm at it I might as well go through the interior and I'm not making major changes but I'm a better writer than I was in 2016 so I flagged a couple things where I want to like change a word or take out some like crutch words or passive voice and I just want to update that a little bit um, and actually, this is a first edition copy. Um, we actually changed the color of the font in the later editions because um, you can't really read it on here. And on the computer screen, it was fine. But when we got the print copies, it's illegible. So um, I have one of the early uh, messed up copies with the cover. And I think that most of this stuff got fixed actually when we went through and did the bind up edition, but I'm still going to go back and look and I want to do that for all of my books, but that's a slow process because I have, uh, I think 10 books out, something like that. 
Um, and these are a mess. I'm, I'm not sure I can tolerate this. I might need to go back and update it. So that is what I'm working on right now. I'm doing some Pomodoro stuff. I'm going to get some editing done. Um, I have a couple of other tasks that need to be done. I'm also working on like some housework and chores type of stuff. So I'm going to work for 15 minutes and then do something else for 15 minutes and then edit for 15 minutes and go back and forth like that. Good morning. It is later than I would like it to be. It's 10 of 11 right now. Um, and let's just do a check in for this writing vlog or editing vlog, publishing vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this week has not gone to plan at all. Like the last week and a half have been really stressful at work. I've had some things come out of nowhere and it's just been really stressful and I have not been able to do work in my downtime or after work the way I normally would because I'm too stressed out and I need to like calm down and gather myself and by the time I have done that after work it is too late for me to focus on writing because like we're getting ready for dinner and then we're you know doing other things and then it is time for bed because I have to get up early so I'm halfway through chapter six now it is, what is today's date? 17th. I don't know how many days until publication. The good news is that chapters six through 13 have already gone through an extra round of edits. So those should be in pretty good standing. Um, I'm going to an event today and I know I'm gonna have some downtime. So I'm bringing my headphones with me my tablet and my uh, keyboard for it so that, that way I can do some editing when I have when I need to take a break from the event basically um, there will be a vlog about that um, so anyway yeah I'm behind schedule I've had a headache all week um, Tuesday was just really, really bad at work. I had really bad sensory overload all day and that spilled over. It took me two days to recover from Tuesday, basically. Um, so I'm going to go do sensory overload things again. This can in no way go wrong and backfire. Anyway, so, um, I am planning on doing a little bit of work today. I don't know how productive I'll be since I'm going to be at a convention basically. Um, but I am bringing my headphones with me just so that I can kind of block things out. I've also got earplugs. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, we're going to go do that. And... I don't know where I was going with this. I swear, I, I think that my my brain is dying sometimes because things. Anyway, let's let's go do stuff. Yeah, let's just do stuff. Okay, so it is another day that I have just woken up. It is now Monday. We are at 63 days until midnight come midnight radio comes out. Um, I did manage to get a chapter and a half edited while I was at the, um, while I was at Red Alder on Saturday, which is good. I probably could have gotten more done. I had the time, but it just was just really uncomfortable working there. Um, so I'm up to chapter seven. Chapter seven is done. And the good thing is that from chapter seven onward, I was kind of editing that previously in my last run through. Um, so it should be pretty good to go. Um, it should only need minor adjustments. I've got like a hair on my face or something. 
Um, so I'm trying to get my brain together because I'm getting into the anxiety inducing phase, which is that this week is my last week at my temp job and the temp agency doesn't have anything else for me. Um, they've had very few clients recently. There's very few job listings and, um, I really need this release to go well. So I'm trying to put the anxiety down and just work on the things that I can control. Um, I do have other stuff that needs to get done today. I have, um, I was able to write the script for the next episode of Ghosts of Highway 16 last night. So I need to get that recorded today. Um, I don't need to edit or upload today because I've, it's late, but I'm just going to release it on Friday the way I normally would. Um, and then I've also got some blog posts I need to write. <clears throat> um, I got ideas for a couple of articles while I was at Red Alder, so I want to, um, flesh those out a little bit and see if I can find places to submit them to. Um, I really need to work on expanding my niche so that I have other options of places I can submit articles to because the articles are like two hours of work and I can usually get about 75 to $300 for them depending on where I send them. So the more I write, the better. It's just, I've been having trouble finding places that take the stuff that I write. So I need to research some more markets today. Um, I need to set up my unemployment notebook for this next run of unemployment. Um, cause I don't usually use my planner when I'm unemployed just because I'm not doing anything. I have no money to do anything. I can't go anywhere. I have no plans. So I just have a separate notebook and that's where I record all of my job hunting and what kind of productive things that I'm doing so that I don't feel like a slob. So anyway, yeah, that is where we are this morning. It's not a particularly great place, but um, we're going to work with it see what we can do. Um, I'm going to go get my chai because chai is my reason for living some days. Um, that and this thing right here who is aggressively bathing at the moment. Um, yeah, let's, let's go get some work done because we got to do something here.
Okay, it is February 24th. Um, the book is done with the first round of edits that I wanted to do. And so is my temp job. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. Um, and then we'll pick up again with another episode of the Unemployment Diaries. Fun times. Um, I do have more changes that I want to work on with Midnight Radio, but that needs to sit for a couple of days before I go back to it because I have some stuff that I'm not sure if I'm going to change it or not, um, but I will talk about that more in the next video, which you, I will look exactly the same because as soon as I stop filming this clip, I'm going to go film that one. So, um, this is where we're at. We have the almost final draft. Um, I still need to do the formatting edit and make the potential changes that I'm not sure about and then we can start the upload process for Amazon and considering I still have more than a month before that needs to get done, I'm not sure exactly how many days, we are looking pretty good on that which is excellent. It was looking a little dicey there for a while. Uh, so anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope that you have something to